All right, this is Marie for the Thursdays with Marie on how to become summit producers for other people. Again, my name is Marie. This is the Thursdays with Marie on uh, how to become a summit producer. And today I am so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you the three step process that we use to becoming a six figure summit producer for freelancers virtual assistants and solopreneurs. So if you are one of those, a freelancer, a virtual assistant, or even own a digital marketing agency and or a solopreneur, this is for you. I wanna share with you how you can become a summit producer, meaning producing summits or virtual events for other people, for other companies, for other influencers in your industry. You know, there's never been a great time to become one. Why? Because I mean, recently, look around. I mean, the pandemic alone has uh, has created great opportunity for us to be able to capitalize on a lot of the in-person events are, as you know, uh, canceled because of the pandemic, COVID-19. And now more than ever, uh, uh, people and businesses are are going online. And the, the one of the fastest way to be able to capitalize this is to, to have the skills to do this one. So I encourage you to... Uh, watch and listen and take notes on what I'm going to be sharing with you. At the same time, I will be providing you with a resource, our own uh, checklist that we use in our agency on, on producing summits for other people. So that will be like a resource for you. Also, if you have questions or comments, please post them down below this video. I will be answering them for you. So again, this is this three steps that I condense or I put into writing. I mean, it, we've been doing this for other people as an agency. So sitting down and creating or writing these steps uh, and going down to the beginner's level uh, was a little challenging for me because I'm used to just doing it with my team. But now I want, I realized that uh, uh, I could help a lot more people by uh, duplicating myself, meaning teaching you how to do this one so that you can go, go out there and, uh, and then service your clients or do this for companies and make money, make seven, six figures at least uh, producing summits for other people or for other companies. And this could be like a, um, a great add-on for your uh, agency if you are, have a digital marketing agency or if you're a freelancer, this could be a great uh, add-on into your offer and a virtual assistant most definitely. So I really encourage you to uh, learn the skills and it will make I will make it super easy for you to do this, to be able to do this one on your own or with the help or with as little help from other people as possible. So let's get to it. All right, here are the three steps. All right, sorry about that one. I am going to put this one here. All right, so Okay, so here are the three steps. So the first one, of course, if you're new to the summit world, the virtual event production, I want you to learn the skills or the tools, the resources, the steps to be able to produce summits for other people. So it's not really the same as producing it uh, or hosting it yourself, producing it for yourself or hosting it for yourself as, as uh, producing this for other people. But the concepts are are very, are very the same. So the step one is to learn the three phases of summit production or virtual event production. So we have the three phases. First one, of course, is the pre-summit phase or the pre-event phase. The pre-event phase is where bulk of what you're going to be doing <laughs> is happening. Or let's say... Uh, 99 to 95% of what you're going to be doing producing the summits happens on the pre-summit phase. This is where all the good stuff happens. This is where all the, the activities or the tasks that you have to do happens here. So that's the phase one. So that's like, uh, so if you do a complete package for them, uh, you would like that one. You help them with, uh, I usually start with uh, uh, speaker outreach. I want to know uh, who are the speakers going to be speaking because the content of the, the summit or the virtual event is going to be dependent on your speakers. They are providing the event uh, content. So I usually start with the, with the speakers and then you get into uh, to, to editing the interviews and creating the web pages, creating the email swipes, uh, the email sequences, 
put, uh, pre-publishing this one to these the uh, softwares that your uh, host has. So I will go through it uh, a little uh, one by one, but I don't want you to feel ob be overwhelmed with it okay? just by uh, by me sharing this with you. But first off, I really want you to, to encourage you to download the checklist so that you can uh, you can follow along with me or you can see for yourself. Okay, these are the tasks that I need to do to be able to produce this one for other people. So again, phase one, this is where uh, most of the activities or the tasks you're going to be doing happen. So this is a pre summit phase. This is where you, this is where you do all, most of the work. Um, uh, uh, so, for, so basically when you do a summit, a summit production for other people or event production for other people, usually the, you want your client to just be, be the one doing the interview. So um, you do the outreach, you find the speakers, or, or if the speaker, if the host, or if your client wants you to, wants to do this on their own, like they have a list of speakers that they want to uh, reach out to, then all you have to do is to, to reach out to them. You don't have to research the names because they already have. But if this is, uh, if they tell you to, okay, these are the type of speakers that I want, uh, go and research them and find people that will be our, uh, that will want to be uh, speakers on the event. And then you go and research this one. And there are several ways on how to do this one. Uh, my favorite ones are, of course, the past events, past virtual events online, past conferences. Um, I love Amazon. I look at the uh, authors of this topic, for example, and then podcast. Oh, podcast is awesome. You can really mine uh, speakers, potential speakers on podcasts because literally there is a podcast for probably uh, uh, all topics. And of course, YouTube too. You can also uh, you can also uh, search on who are the people that are talking about this topic. And then you would want those speakers to at least have a website and making sure that they are also building their their audiences or they have a following. Why? Because most of the time your speakers or the speakers of this the event or the summit are going to be your affiliates, meaning they are the one to drive traffic to your to the to the event uh, to the event pages. And there are I will talk about several marketing strategies later on that you can uh, discuss with your client. Um, you could also do paid advertising. Uh, social media marketing uh, of course that would, that, that's included but there are several ways that you can market this one sponsorships is another one um, it could be in kind or uh, paid sponsorships so there are several ways that you can uh, you can drive you can help the client drive traffic to the event because you want them to you want the event to be profitable at the same time to reach the uh, the target that your client has usually is to build a list and uh, uh, make money, sell sell their programs or courses. Usually, that's what their uh, their goal is. So you want to capitalize on marketing avenues that you can do for them or you can do alongside with them. And and if they decide to do Facebook ads, for example, and if you're doing this one, you hire somebody at their expense. So that will be an additional service for them. So that's phase one. So phase one is where all the Activities, most of the activities happen. So the interviews, you edit the interviews, uh, pre-publish, I create the email sequences, email swap copies for your affiliates, uh, the graphics, of course, uh, this is important. And, uh, and and there's a lot more uh, on the phase one, but uh, all I, I wanna, wanna emphasizes here that most of the work is done during this. So, and if you're doing a complete package for, for them, um, all you have to do is to interview their, their speakers if it is a pre-recorded or if it's a live one, then they do live sessions during the summit live. So the rest of the back end of that one, inter uh, editing those videos, creating the, uh, building those web summit pages, uh, pre uh, writing those email copy, doing the graphics, pre-publishing this to their softwares. That will be your job as if you're producing this on a complete package. And then phase two will be this summit live, meaning this is when the summit goes live, whether it's pre-recorded, hybrid, meaning live and pre-recorded, or a live event. This is the, the date. So let's say the day, uh, the summit days are a, a seven day summit or seven day virtual event. And you, this is going to start on this Monday and on a Sunday. So that's a seven day event. That is when the summit goes live to the public. So usually uh, a summit or a virtual event is free to the public during those times, but they have an option to, uh, 
um, upgrade to the lifetime uh, access, for example, or a limited uh, year, a one year access, for example, whatever the offer is. And uh, but the main thing is that, that during this time, the seven day, for example, the audience can sign up for it and then can watch the sessions for free. Um, and then immediately post summit, post summit, I mean, after the summit, there are two things that, that will happen. Uh, immediately post summit, you would want to assist the, the client to, for a post summit promotion, meaning this is the immediately after the summit ends, let's say the summit ends on Sunday, Monday, there is a promotion going on. Uh, and usually this is the next step for the attendees. So it has to be something that is relevant to what the attendees learn because you don't want to be promoting something that is, you know, out of, uh, out, out of, uh, of context uh, from the, uh, for the summit attendees. So I always encourage my client to have something as a back end product meeting, uh, promote something right after the summit, whether that be your, uh, an online course or a program or a coaching, uh, sessions, for example, or any product that you want to, 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 uh, promote that they want to promote. That is a, um, that, uh, a next step or that's congruent to, to the summit attendees. That would be what I would encourage. And the, uh, and the good thing with that one is that, most of probably your clients will have already programs or uh, uh, courses or coaching services that they want to promote. So you want to assist them on, on creating the funnel for this one, creating the sequences, creating the, uh, writing the email and assisting them when the webinar, when the workshop uh, is, is being held. So I usually do a, like a seven day post summit promotion wherein uh, uh, we start emailing them three days after the summit I mean, for three years from the summit and then leading them to a workshop. That workshop is where the client will uh, do the training and sell the next step for them, meaning the whatever offer that they want to offer for the summit attendees. So that would be the sequence of the post summit um, promotion. The other thing that you will want to do after the summit is to create this or to produce this summit as an evergreen. So now that the summit is over, it doesn't stop there. You want to create an evergreen uh, uh, summit, meaning create this summit as a uh, uh, as available 24 hours, 24 hours, seven days a week for people who wanna wanna come in there and then uh, maybe they miss the summit live. They can still uh, watch the set, the recorded sessions. Uh, let um, I usually do like a 24 hour for free, and then if they wanna want uh, longer than that, that one and catch up on all the other sessions, then I encourage them to upgrade. And why? Because that gives them a reason to uh, to uh, upgrade for the all access pass or the premium pass. And that's a revenue for your client. That's a revenue that uh, that justifies the investment that they make for you. So three things that, that uh, will be a revenue generating uh, um, uh, activities for your clients that could, that you can easily sell this to them is that you can have you can get sponsorships paid sponsorships and then you can of course the sales of the all access pass but also uh, and the third one is a, um, a post summit promotion meaning promoting a program and if they don't have programs maybe somebody else's programs uh they can promote which is of course congruent to the summit and then uh, they earn commissions from it so you don't have the client doesn't necessarily have a to have a program of their own they can partner with somebody who have an affiliate program or who have a program that is relevant to your to the attendees audience and um, that you can promote so those will be what one of your selling points when you are uh, finding clients or or talking to clients potential clients and justifying the investment that they're going to make for you uh, all right so uh, make sure that you when you talk to them uh, you mention all of this and i have i have a uh, a template on how to do this one so let's go to the second step first the second step so the first step again is the uh, learning the three phases of summit production and i have a resource for you the checklist the become a summit producer checklist is is down below the link of that one is down below this video or you can go to marigraceberg.com slash download and you get that one for free the second one of the step is to find talents to delegate some of the task list okay so this is really important because all right if you are familiar with the summit that's fine and even if you're familiar with some some of the tasks you would like you would want to delegate for me the graphics i am not good at graphics and even if i'm using canva for example my graphics are 
are, are um, terrible. And it's not a good use of my time because that's not my expertise. So I delegate those. And you can find talents in many places, Fiverr, for example, or Upwork. And even on groups, there are so many p talented people that you can, uh, you can uh, outsource this for. So find someone who can do all the graphics for the summit. And then, uh, and another one is if you, um, if you don't want to edit the videos, then find somebody that can edit the videos for you and then turn them into audits as well. And then um, the copywriting, that's an, uh, that's an optional. I mean, some of, I mean, the, the copy on the email, the, the summit pages are not that uh, many. Uh, you could probably use one using the template that I'm gonna be sharing with you. Otherwise, uh, a copywriter will be a nice add-on, especially if you are working with corporates or companies, big companies, they have the budget for this one. So you can hire a copywriter at their expense. And then another one will be, yeah, so we have a graphic artist, we have a video editor, audio editor, um, the copywriter, and also if you want somebody to do the landing pages or the page, summit pages, you can hire a virtual assistant. Uh, and these are only on contract basis. You don't hire them for, for like a salaried position. You wanna hire them per project. So let's say you have a big project from a big company. You wanna hire out these people that will help you. So you're literally gonna be doing the management of this one at the same time, doing, uh, being able to delegate some of the tasks uh, that will free up your time so that you can focus on the things that you you can do, like organizing this one or managing this one. Because basically those three people, the, if you have a, a virtual assistant that can do summit pages and uh, what, editing the videos and audios and then a graphic artist and an optional copywriter, you're good to go. So this is not like you have a big team of 10, 20 people now per summit production, you basically can do just even just two, maximum three people on your team. And then you, um, you, you pay them as, on a contract basis based on the work. And then the third level will be, of course, once you have, you've learned this, this the, the phases of summit production, you become skilled with it, you find talents or you find experts, you find uh, help or support or team that can help you with delegating the some of the tasks. The next step for you really is to find and sign up your first paying clients. And I have a way, I have a, a three-step process on what's, what's the best way for you to find your clients. The first one, of course, is to reach out or to research who are the influencers and companies or small business owners that you that have been doing in-person events but now have to transition to virtual events. That is the one that is so timely right now. So I want you to focus on that one first. And then of course, you also want to uh, look into solopreneurs or influencers that want to add or this, this, this um, uh, platform, virtual events or summits to their marketing strategy. Uh, also for digital marketing or agencies, if you wanna create, if you wanna use this one or add this one to your offers, uh, if you're already servicing clients, it's a big risk. It's a, gr a great uh, way to uh, boost their marketing strategies, uh, especially with list building and, um, and increasing your authority or credibility in their market niche. This is one way of uh, is one of the best ways I know of to do that. So it's it's a lot easier now to find uh, companies and clients and that uh, want to do this one because of the the pandemic that we're in, uh, most of the in-person events, or all of the in-person events, or yeah, I would, I would say all, but most of the in-person events have been canceled. So we need to find a way to help them to go virtual. And the beauty of going virtual is that um, it's a, uh, you know, you can reach, they can reach a wider audience. So you have a lot of selling points in here. It's, they can reach a wider audience. It's less costly for them uh, because they don't have to book hotels and you don't have to, to fly, uh, pay for airline tickets like that so there's a lot of selling points and there's so many ways that they can monetize this one one again is for the sponsorships and then the uh, the all access pass and also post summit promotion so you can always justify uh, their investment for you uh yeah or even on a five figure investment per event so when you do this course, when you find a client, when you prospect them, um, and you can use LinkedIn, um, social media, uh, or Google people, 
um, and then uh, have a chat with them, get them on the phone, get them on Zoom like this and chat with them, find out what they need, what their client, what their goals are and uh, what can you help them with and then introduce the service that you have and then um, share with them what are the benefits that they that they can get by doing this virtual event or by uh, by doing this virtual summit and and then then pitch your service pitch your pitch what you can do for them and making sure that they you touch on that they will save time and money by you producing this for them because then they don't have to worry about all the tech uh, that side of, of producing one and you because you will take care of those all they have to do is to be the face of the event be the face of the summit by doing the interviews or what if it's a live sessions being live with those guests so i hope this was helpful for you and again if you are a, a solopreneur a freelancer or a virtual assistant this is perfect for you you can create a six-figure income just by doing this i have proven it myself i do we do this one as an agency and i've done this one myself too so i really encourage you to look at this one and download the checklist become a summit producer checklist that we have that's lit literally what we use in my company to uh, do this all of those tasks that you need to do to produce a successful event for other people are in there and i'm i'm giving it to you i'm gifting it to you so that you can go out there and let's all help these businesses, these companies, these solopreneurs that are affected by the pandemic. Let's all help each other because I know, and that's my mantra, that if we collaborate, if we, we support each other, we can grow a whole lot faster uh, and, and, and reach our goals. So you help them, they help you. They help you by, by giving you the opportunity, the, the income uh, to produce the their summits for them. And you help them by uh, producing the summits for them to, to increase their our, to build their list, create income for them by, by, by this avenues that I have shared with you. So it's like, it's really a win, 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 win for you, win for them and win for, win for their, I mean, win for you and win for them and win for their clients. So I really encourage you to uh, download the summit producer checklist down below this video. And if you have questions, please comment down below this video. Again, I will be doing this. I'm doing this on every uh, Thursdays uh, at 12 noon um, central in Europe or 6 a.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time. The reason being is that I'm in Norway right now, so I do this one uh, during this time. So, and, and don't worry, there will be a recording of this one. And it's also available on this page as well as on YouTube and also on our Facebook group. So make sure to join our Facebook group. All right, again, this is Marie Griesberg for Tuesdays with Marie on how to become summit producers and, and uh, earn six-figure income doing so. And really encourage you to uh, uh, download the freebie or the checklist that I am sharing with you. So again, I want to end this one by saying, if you are a solopreneur or a uh, virtual assistant or a freelancer and you want to add another stream of income for your offerings, I highly encourage you to become a summit producer. Again, thank you.